Jeremy, didn't you recently call bus drivers Nazis? No. No, you did, you did. You you I didn't. You did. I didn't. I said that they were little Hitlers and murderers. How's it going everyone? JakeXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. It is still update 19 and you may remember in update 19 we were given four new vehicles. Two of which have become available today, the Ford Supervan which I may have a video on tomorrow, but more importantly the Aston Martin Vulcan AMR Pro. This is a car I've just unlocked today. I'm going to very very quickly show you how to unlock this in the fastest way possible and then we're going to be having a look at what it's like. Graded, the sound and stuff like that. Let's have a look. Very quickly how to get this car, I'm going to show you now. For the next week, when you get to 50% of winter, you will unlock it for free. Now the fastest way to get to 50% of winter is the following. Complete the weekly Fortisland challenge. This is all done in the Warthog. You have to own and drive it, get five wrecking ball skills. Now you get a wrecking ball skill by getting lots of wreckage skills in a row. Complete three cross country events and then get three stars at a speed trap. Complete that and you will be at about 15% already. Then there are three seasonal PR stunts. Complete all three of these. All of these are very simple, quite easy. 6% each, I believe. That will get you somewhere in the 30% already. Then if you haven't already completed it back in summer, complete the monthly rivals event in the Bugatti Chiron. This will get you another 6%. And by now you'll be at about 41 to 43% complete. And then the thing that takes the longest, you have to complete two seasonal events. I did this one to unlock the second new car and then this one because it's faster than this one. Three events here, three events here, boom you'll be over 50%, you'll get this car for free and you can play around in it just like we're going to now. So let's have a gander shall we? So the car mastery, is there anything interesting here? No. Are there any other liveries? No. However, upgrades, let's have a look at the upgrades. So, conversion, there is an engine swap, to my surprise. A racing V12, we're not going to put that in, what's the point of that? And drivetrain swap, obviously we're going to keep it rear wheel drive. Now, annoyingly, it is winter in Horizon 4 at the moment, but we're going to do most of the driving in a race, so we can set it to summer, because who wants to drive this in winter? That was a stupid idea. Look at the gold calipers on that. We're going to go up to race tyres, don't really need to play with anything else there. Interesting, it doesn't seem like it's going to have a lot of power compared to some cars, but it is going to be very light. It is just under basically a thousand horsepower and it only weighs 1,100 kilograms, so this is going to be quite grippy, I can imagine. Straight away I can tell it's got some good grip. Oh yes, that sticks to the road. Road? I mean road. Ooh, wow, that's impressive. We need to get into summer though, because this is just, it's an insult to the car if we don't drive it in summer. Here we go. I've tried to back up a little bit just so I can get some room. But it seems like we're going to catch up to them very quickly. I presume we can just go flat out down this whole thing. Oh, I'm going to end up catching up to these. Get out of my way. Of course, they can go flat out too, because you know, it's AI. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. I've just been foot to the floor. I've been foot to the floor so far. There's a Senna up there. Goodbye, Subby. Goodbye, Senna. Let's see what the brakes are like. Pretty impressive. Why is my ABS on? High speed cornering. Seems pretty quick. This is a very quick car. Can we go around here flat out? We probably can. Oh, without an issue at all. Can we go around here flat out? Without a doubt. I am going to let everyone overtake me. <laughs> well done, you crashed into a pole there, mate. Nothing special of a car sound. A bit disappointing, but it's not really a bad sound. We are now going to test the 0 to 200, just a quick acceleration test, and then keep going for the top speed of this thing. So, uh, Oh, it's got a window sticker, that's pretty cool. It's fast to 120 and then it really slows down compared to the most 1,000 brake horsepower cars. 
Top speed also looks a bit slack. 217 probably it might get to. 215. No, 215. But it will go 215 flat out everywhere. I'm just having to feather the analog stick to get around these corners. No effort whatsoever. Just a bit of feathering. Whee! It's quick. I'm interested to see this corner up here because this is quite a fast right and then left bender. To let off a little bit, dab of the brakes, hit the wall like I did. Oh, it's impressive. It doesn't even matter. Round here, flat out as well. Yeah, not an issue. I'm actually quite enjoying this, weirdly. Flat out round here. Yes, that was. I could even cut that corner. Should we test it around here? Oh yes, I have been flat out basically since the city. I feel like this may be pushing it around here a little bit. No, of course not. Of course not, nothing to match for the AMR Pro. It's good cars that, like this that make races L boring because I'm gonna have to break for this one, I know that. I like that, I like that very much. Now, because it's already sort of a race car anyway, Let's try putting a different race engine in it. I feel like this will be less frowned upon than ending swapping a Lexus LFA, for example. Just over 200 horsepower, more power, and see what the grip's like. Sound, I'll give you that. Look at that red line. That's better acceleration. So 200 extra horsepower, does help out the acceleration. What does it do to the handling though? Excuse me. Still seems just as impressive. Oh, I can dodge that car and still get around that corner. With all the out the engine swap, this is a grip monster. I've kept it rear wheel drive. It's probably faster all wheel drive, but with something like this. I, I, I wasn't even paying attention then. It's just naturally grippy and handles so, so well. Top speed, however, doesn't seem much different. It's creeping over 215 now. I'm just trying to dodge between the cars to test the handling. It's gone over 215, but not by much. So with all the anti-engine swap, it's got the same top speed. Acceleration is better. The handling seems the same, if not maybe a tiny bit worse. Well, I mean, not gonna lie, Part of me is sort of disappointed it's not a bit more extreme than it already is because the standard Vulcan is already pretty mental. So you'd think the AMR Pro Racing version would have a little bit of a bigger touch to it. But for what it is, and to be honest you can get it for free for doing the festival playlist, it's a pretty nice thing. And look at the size of that bonnet. That is mental. It's absolutely mental. Do you know, I don't do this in many cars. Let's have a look at the interior. Because, you know, you can't really do it while you're on the road. You can tell it's supposed to be a race car because of the lack of switches. It's got literally like a light switch as a button down there. Is that high beam, maybe neutral, ABS, traction control, three power modes maybe? I believe that may be what that is. Of course, we've got the exhaust pipes on the side skirts. We've got chrome rear um, calipers and gold chrome front calipers. So yeah, overall my thoughts on this car, it's pretty damn good. I mean, not quite as much better than the normal Vulcan that I would have liked, however, it's it's good. I just thought I would make it as ugly as possible just to annoy some of you before you leave the video. Look at that. God, that is hideous. So yeah guys, I've heard the other new car that we got this month, the Ford van, whatever it is, I've heard that that is even crazier than this. So tomorrow or Saturday we'll have a video on that, taking that to its limits. So I definitely recommend that you get this while you can. It's free, you may as well get it. If you don't like it, you can probably sell it on the auction house for a good few million for just about half an hour to an hour's work of racing through the festival playlist. But anyway guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more content. And I'll see you all later.